What's up guys, Grim here. I just logged in and checked my mail and right off the bat I have a gift, it looks like. Hello Grim, I just thought I would send you this for the great videos, keep it up. And this is from Aerolysos? Aerolysos? Is that how you say the name? So, not sure I wasn't kind of uh, warned about this or anything, so this is an absolute surprise. So let's see what's in this. Alright. Goes into this pack. Let's go ahead and right click. Let's see what happens. Whoa, it is a Kitsune Supply Crate. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm almost reluctant to open it right now. Uh, I'm thinking that Man, I want to give you the satisfaction of seeing exactly what I get out of it because you gave it to me. But I'm thinking that I might need to wait until 3.0 because uh, most likely what's going to be coming out of a lot of the boxes and stuff is going to change with uh, the Nightmare Tide expansion. So I'm afraid if I open it right now, it will be something that will be irrelevant in two weeks because once 3.0 comes out anything that's coming out of these chests and stuff is really going to be useless for the most part so i do not want to spoil this gift uh, well ruin it should i say so we're going to hold off for the moment and we're going to open it as soon as the nightmare tide starts that way we can get something nice that will actually stay nice and as you can see in my packs, uh, I'm actually building up the daily rewards and going to start building up the weeklies as well because you don't want to open them right now. Everything that you're going to be getting out of uh, this stuff besides... Whoa, that was loud. Oh my gosh. But everything you're going to get out of... Uh, a lot of the lock boxes and stuff like that may not be worth it once 3.0 hits. And one of the main things that uh, comes to mind is the depleted supply crates. Because us PvPers are just always trying to get those depleted supply crates because you get the crit power gear. You get If you're going for attack power like me, then you get the attack power gear and all of that stuff. But... All of that's going to be worthless in two weeks. So there is absolutely no reason to get the depleted supply crates for the most part. Unless you're going for something like Warlord Souls or something like that. <laughs> because that's not that's not usually something that you shoot for. But that is something that will be effective in 3.0 as well. But almost everything else that comes out of those chests aren't needed at all. Uh, so anybody that's wasting their time uh, PvPing right now, it's it's actually a waste of time. Um, I was I did a video just uh, just like a couple days ago, and I was about to post it, and then they announced that they were delaying the 3.0 expansion for two more weeks. So I believe it's coming out like October 22nd now. Uh, whenever it was supposed to be coming out October 8th. So, with them announcing that the expansion had been pushed back, that video that I made had become already outdated. Uh, the things that I was saying in it were not relevant now. But I'll kind of go over some of the stuff that I was uh, really talking about in that video and give you an updated version of it, so to say. Um, basically... PvP right now, there is absolutely no reason to do it. Um, because everything that you're going to do right now until 3.0 hits is absolutely worthless. Um, all the gear that you'll get, all the marks you get, all the favor you get, all of it means nothing. Unless you go ahead and spend your favor on, uh, you know, the consumables and stuff like that. Then, then it might be worth something. But the Warlord Marks, the Myrmidon Marks, upgrading your gear, all of it is absolutely worthless in two weeks. Or whenever Nightmare Tide hits. Um, so there is zero reason for me to PvP right now. Other than it being fun. Uh, it is fun. But uh, I'm one of those people that I really want to have a feeling of accomplishment whenever I'm PvPing. 
even whenever, uh, even on this character here, I slowed down on how much I was PVPing because I wanted to, uh, I pretty much had all of my gear relicked out. And people had relicked out their gear like a week into the, uh, whenever it came out. But I was one of those people that I got some relic gear pretty fast, but the rest I slowed down on. And that's because I want all the PVP in that I do to lead to something besides just fun PVP. And I want to work towards a piece of gear. I want to, uh, get that prestige rank or whatever, you know, there's always got to be some sort of accomplishment besides just me running around killing players. Um, and that's one of the things that has me really worried about, uh, 3.0 is that I'm afraid that getting the top gear that we can just PVP in isn't going to be too hard. And even if it is kind of hard, then, uh, you're going to have people with raid gear, uh, looking a lot cooler. Uh, they are going to be bolstered down to the top gear that a PVPer can get, but still, man, the sense of accomplishment is gone. Nobody is going to look at my gear and say, hey, that's some cool looking gear. You've, you've really worked your butt off in PvP to get that. No, they're going to say, oh yeah, that's, that's some decent gear. I guess that's the top PV, uh, top gear that a PvPer can get, huh? Well, check out this raid gear. It looks really cool, you know, and it's three times as good as yours. Yeah, I got to be bolstered down so I don't one shot you, but... Yeah, you know, your gear's all right, Grim. You know, that's that's what it's going to be like, and man, I uh, I don't I don't like the idea, but we are going to uh tread on. We are going to try our best to make it work and uh try to enjoy the PVP because the PVP most likely isn't going to change too drastically. It's just that that feeling of accomplishment with the gear and stuff is going to be gone for us pure PVPers. So I'm going to have to get into a raid guild. It sounds like, um, uh, not, not join one, but, uh, gosh, that, that tiger is really loud, but, uh, not, not join a, a PVE guild or anything like that because I have my, uh, guild on Wolfsbane called Grimm's Reapers, which were a casual PVP guild. And I absolutely think everybody in my guild is awesome. So I want to be around them as much as possible. I'm not going to leave the guild so that I can, uh, go raiding with a PVE guild. But what I would like to do is maybe, uh, throw out the, uh, the hand and say, Hey man, uh, can anybody help me in some of this raiding content? Because our guild just doesn't have a raid leader or anything like that. And our guys really don't know the raids too much. There are a couple of guys that know it, but for the majority part, we, we don't know all the raids and we would be really struggling if we tried to raid in our guild. Maybe we could start from the bottom or something, but Really, we don't have the setup yet, and it would take a lot of work that a lot of other guilds already have done. So I might try to ask some of these top PV, uh, PVE guilds and say, Hey, man, can I get into some of your raids? And they might say, Get lost, Graham. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get the raid gear because I've got to have their accomplishment. And I don't mind PVE one bit. I, I've I've been a heavy raider in other games and uh, I enjoyed it, uh, but I enjoy killing players lots more. So getting into the raids may not be a bad thing, uh, but man, I, I really hate the thought that I can't just PvP for the top gear, you know, the top gear for a pvp -er to where it looks cool, like, like the Relic Myrmidon gear now. You know, how it's got such a feeling of accomplishment. If you get a new piece of Relic gear, you have so much pride in it and everybody that checks out your gear they're like oh man look at that relic pvp gear i mean that's that's a cool feeling to me so we're going to see how that goes and hopefully get into some of this rating and make some content on that maybe you know but it's kind of forced on it uh, onto us so don't think that i'm wanting to change the whole channel over to a pve channel or anything like that but if we're doing the PvE content, I'll make videos of it and show you guys some PvE builds as well. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But 
I'm going to have to basically reach out to some of the PVE guilds and say, hey, can you get me into your PVE raids? Uh, that way I can get some great gear and hopefully pursue the really top end stuff. Even though I'll be bolstered down in PVE, it'll be a great feeling having this awesome looking gear and, uh, you know, be the envy of anybody that looks at my paper doll in the game. But that's going to take a lot of work and hopefully everything works out that way. Hopefully one, maybe some of you guys are in some big, big, uh, PVE guilds and you're willing to invite the Grim Meister to go into some of your raids. You might have to carry me because like I said, I've got to learn the raid, uh, rotations and all that stuff in Rift, but yeah, might be pretty fun. Might feature you guys in some videos. And that also goes into, I'll probably be making some PvE videos as well as uh, PvE builds. Because I'm not really trying to change this channel into a PvE channel. Because I'm a PvPer at heart. But it's kind of being forced onto us. We have to do PvE content in order to have the cool looking, super powerful gear. And... Uh, Another thing that that gear is kind of uh, raising flags, red flags with, is our godlike arena tournaments that we run. Uh, we've always had it in the dimensions to where people can bring whatever gear they want in there for the most part. And now we're going to probably have to restrict, restrict the raid gear from being allowed because that's not bolstered in dimensions. So all these PvP dimensions are going to be ruined unless they put in an item that'll allow people to bolster down. Um, but I don't know. There's a lot of things that's going to go on and, uh, and I, I'm trying not to be too negative about everything because I want to PVP right now. I want to fight players. I want to pursue a goal that's not going to be worthless in two weeks, but really we're just going to have to wait until 3.0 hits and see where we're at there and hopefully get into some raids. Um, but make sure you guys are not buying any depleted supply crates. Don't spend any credits on uh, prestige vials or favor vials or any of that stuff right now. Because uh, if you use it right now, it's going to be absolutely wasted. Because everything is going to be irrelevant once Nightmare Tide hits. So... But I'm kind of glad they pushed it back in a way because the anybody that did the PTS knows that the stuff really wasn't finished. Um, they might have it finished enough or they might be halfway happy with it by the time it launched. But uh, it, it's nice that they pushed it back two weeks and going to refine it a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to this expansion. <laughs> I'm probably not looking forward to this expansion, guys. Uh, it it kind of has me down in the dumps about it all. But I love Rift. love Tryon. Hopefully they do the right things. And, yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a little bit update video, not, not the normal stuff. Oh, uh, by the way, the build videos are going to be coming back. I've been holding off on them because, like I said, 3.0 is the big deciding factor. I may have to do a lot of these builds with Mastery System now. So I don't really want to put out uh, a bunch of new build videos before Nightmare Tide hits. And then all of a sudden they're all irrelevant because now people have to deal with the Mastery System. Um, we're, we're going to see where that's at and see how it affects the videos. Uh, but the build videos will be coming again real soon. We're just going to have to hold off until Nightmare Tide hits. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, my name is Grim and I will see you next time.